so it's been an incredible summer. I've had a really good time, but there are two things I kind of regret, and I think it's time to uh, fix those regrets. All right. Good timing, my Uber's here. The two things that I regret from this summer are, are one, that I didn't get to travel with my best friend Peter at all. We didn't travel a single trip together. And then two, is that I didn't see more of Canada. I really wanted to see more of Canada, my, my homeland, my, my country. Well, it's kind of my second homeland because I'm from Finland. But I wanted to see more of Canada. I actually wanted to do a cross Canada road trip and I didn't get to do that, but uh, we're here to fix that. Thanks to uh, Hyundai and the all new Santa Fe right here, uh, we're here in Alberta, Alberta, and I'm here with Peter also. Let me go find him. Oh, we're I'm traveling again. Dude, look, look where we are. Look at this. Look, I match, I blend in. I brought the, I brought the mountain sweater, and we're finally traveling together again. So hyped. You've been talking about this place forever. This is like your favorite place in the whole world. And, and what better way uh, to start with your, your favorite sweater that we did. You were wearing this on the very first trip we did. On our first date. First, first, first trip. Date to Zermatt. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm so pumped for this. Dude, we, we are always in the mountains with blue, the, the bluest water. That just seems to be where we always find ourselves. I love it. Should we uh, slow-mo high-five this? Huh, yeah. Oh man, it just does not get much better than this. Thanks Peter for showing me the spot. Appreciate it. Peter Lake. Part of its nickname is it kind of looks like the head of a wolf or a wolf. Peter, how come we don't travel more together? Or this summer we haven't traveled? I don't know, probably because we both have families and kids and jobs and an office and employees and bills and oh, I just got real negative real fast. Let's redo that. Hang on. I don't know, man. We should we should really make that more of a, more of a priority. <laughs> Look at this. <sighs> He goes straight into adult life. That's what it is. I mean, it is true. He goes straight into adult life. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, it is true. It is true. It is true. All right, I think it's time to get some uh, epic B-roll in this spot. That's like I love my kids, though. Of course. You know. Of course. Yeah. I love them. Of course. Making up for no drone shots with a with a gimbal and just sheer running power. It's really tiring. But it's but it's worth it, right? You guys saw the shots. We're at Pato Lake in Alberta, Banff. Peter's showing me all his favorite spots that he's that he's been to before. Fun times just traveling together. Uh, my brother actually mentioned this in, in a video, in a vlog uh, in, while we were in Norway, and he was talking about how you have to surround yourself with with people that are like-minded and you know have have kind of similar but different skills than you. Every time we go somewhere with Peter, no matter what the obstacles are, we just we just end up getting really good footage. And it's not necessarily because we're both so good or anything like that. I think it's more that we just get along really well and 
and together we make really great content. So yeah, moral of the story is you gotta surround yourself with people that are like-minded, you know? If you're traveling around with somebody, you know that guy who you're traveling somewhere and it's super epic and you're like, oh, let's stop here and like, nah, or you stop and then it's been like 20 seconds, you're like, all right, let's go already. Like nobody wants to be around that guy. But instead, you know, when, when me and Peter are going, when we see some, some good spot or whatever, we're gonna stop there and we're gonna make sure that we're gonna get some sort of photo or video clip there and, and we're gonna always go that, that extra mile hiking somewhere, you know, a little bit off the beaten path and, you know, just make sure we get those shots. Go that extra mile. But yeah, we've been throwing a couple curveballs. First off, you can't, you can't fly drones here in Banff, which really, really sucks. I don't, Banff, you should change change this rule. You should have some sort of, you know, like some sort of permits at least that we could you could apply for to get some drone shots. I don't know. It really sucks not being able to do drone shots. And even though this gimbal is good and all, it's, it's just not the same as a drone shot. And then we also, um, there's some fires in BC. That's like the next province over. It's really far from here, but but still, you see all this like haze stuff. It was really bad yesterday. You couldn't really see anything. It's just all hazy because of the smoke all the way from that fire in BC. It's coming over here and it's causing all this haze. So, uh, and then it's also supposed to rain. So it's almost like somebody, maybe the film, the film gods are, are putting a handicap on us. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go now. Uh, so we've been driving a lot on this trip and uh, we've been talking a lot. And one of the things we've been talking about is our, our B-roll. It's, it's similar but different, you'd say, right? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people, sometimes, you know, people don't even say it's B-roll. They're like, it's not B-roll, it's A-roll because you're just making cinematic sequences. But B-roll is supposed to go over Semantics. your story. But my story is the vlog. Yeah. So the B-roll is going over the vlog. So... B-roll. Maybe to kind of point out the differences in our, our B-roll, we should uh, do like a battle or something like, like, a, like a fight to the death. Like a B-roll battle. B-roll like, battle, camera, camera showdown, <laughs> wild west. Uh, with this the is car. getting out of hand already. Yeah, and we parked, we parked it in, like we found this, like we drove all over the place to find like a secluded, quiet, pretty uh, location to do this so that we wouldn't be bothered by like the mobs of tourists everywhere. <laughs> we had a different spot earlier and we literally no sat there for like a half an hour yeah. waiting for the mobs of Just tourists. Just... No. no. So this is the spot. So this is the thing. I'm gonna shoot a B-roll sequence. Maddie's gonna shoot a B-roll sequence. To see Maddie's, you're gonna go to his channel. To see mine, you're gonna go to my channel and uh, just uh, battle to the death. And <laughs> whoever loses has to delete their channel. Wait, what? Yeah, so we talked about. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah, it's, stakes are high. Oh, all right, let's, let's get to it. Yeah. First round knockout. <laughs> but wait, who's gonna go first? Do you want you want me to go first or should we flip a coin? Let's Who, flip, you no, have a coin? Nobody has <laughs> coins. Coin? That was the first thing I thought to say. <laughs> let, uh, let me go first. I'll go first. Okay. I'll go first. I got this. For the B-roll battle, uh, towards the end of that, I I was this close, this close. Let me show you how close. Uh, I actually got this part of my foot in the water, but I, at the end I was running, running, and then I got to the end here, and I was just waving my arms. I had the gimbal in my hand, but I did it for the shot. Got it. Got got that final final gimbal shot. Uh, that was fun. Uh, so yeah, we clearly have a very different style, even though it's similar in ways, but it's it's different. Good job, Peter, on on yours. Thank I like you, it. Man. I had fun. I had a lot of fun too. We should do this again. Should we do a rematch? Rematch in Norway? My favorite place in the world? Yeah, it's happening. So yeah, you can clearly see, even though a lot of times me and Peter kind of share footage and that kind of stuff, because we're best buds, uh, things come out way different. We just think completely differently. I, I realized as we were doing this, I kind of think more chronologically in order of the sequence, whereas Peter has like this crazy creative mind where he just, he throws in that shot with that shot and they're just like kind of all over the place, but they really work together at the same time. My brain just doesn't work like that. Anyways, I think we're gonna head over to the next spot now. Uh, 
why don't you come with us? Oh yeah, and if you didn't see Peter's version of the B-roll battle, obviously I'll link it down below and, and go and check him out if you're not already subscribed to him and watching his stuff anyways. All right. Well, that was a long day, but the long days are also kind of good days, I find, a lot of times. We actually got rain out at the end, but that's totally fine. We got a lot of cool photos and video clips, and yeah, it was just a lot of fun. Anyways, uh, Hyundai, who organized this whole road trip thing for me and Peter here in Banff, Alberta, they're actually also doing a giveaway, so you could win a 5D Mark IV. All you gotta do is go to the link down below and uh, enter into the contest, and there's some photos uh, from our trip also, so check it out. All right, I guess it's time for me to charge the batteries and offload the cards, and go to sleep and do this whole thing over again. I don't mind. <laughs>